Hello everyone, it looks like within iOS 17.6.1 that there are some slight problems that some people may end up having. Now this is very interesting because 17.6.1 came out a few days ago, but the craziest thing within 17.6.1 is the fact that Apple kind of removed it from the public. So it looks like for a little bit yesterday, they went through and unsigned it, which meant that people weren't able to go through and basically, you know, essentially go and, you know, you know, upgrade to it, which in and of itself was very interesting. I don't know why they did that. That in and of itself was a very interesting thing, but still for the most part, you know, you can still, I think you can still install it. I was able to install it in one of my other devices, but they did go through and unsign it for a brief period of time, which is very weird. Now, another thing about, you know, iOS 17.6.1 is that a lot of people I've noticed are getting this little error where it says no service. So some people are reporting that after updating their iPhone to iOS 17.6.1 that they're getting these no service pop-ups which means that they are not getting any service on their device. Now I do think for the most part this is a small issue. This isn't going to be affecting I think a lot of people considering this is going to be one of those things where it's just going to be you know kind of it could be another issue that some people were having. So I think this in and of itself not the biggest deal in the world. But again, it is one of those things to kind of keep in mind here that this particular device on, you know, if you're update, if you're updating your iPhone to iOS 17.6.1, you might be noticing that you are getting a little bit of a different type of software with, you know, the lack of no service. So this in and of itself, just another minor thing to keep in mind there too. On top of that, some other things that we've noticed within iOS 17.6.1 is the fact that for the most part, it seems like some people are not able to download the software. So it looks like that was one issue, but again, I think that was fixed because of the unsigning issue. There's also some heat that some people are complaining about as well. So it looks like if they're going to go through and basically update your iPhone, I think a lot of people are stating that their iPhone may be hot on iOS 17.6.1, but the thing that I've always noticed on iOS 17.6.1 in some versions is the fact that for the most part, if you are going to go through and update your iPhone, if you're updating it, it's going to get hot regardless, right? It's going to be a hot version of software. And that's just kind of what ends up happening because it takes a lot of you know, power and effort from your device to update to that version of software. So that's one thing that we've noticed, and that's basically what's going to end up happening here too. So from that side in and of itself, that's just one other thing to kind of keep in mind here as well. So overall, those are kind of the small problems that we've noticed within 17.6.1. Again, I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world, but it is just one thing. So kind of keep that in mind here. In terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, though, me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soul then.